This is me, and I'm trying out the human cannon that we built from scratch and have not tested before. Ready? It's launch time. I really hope this test goes better than the previous ones. Three, but why a cannon, you ask? Well, if you've seen our past projects, you know we love inventing new ways of launching ourselves into the air. Building a cannon was just a matter of time. But before we could start, we had three main issues to deal with. First, we don't know what we're doing. We've never made a human cannon before. Second, this thing can be really, really dangerous. There's gonna be a lot of force pushing you. And the third problem, we need to finish it before summer comes. So we hit the drawing board. The basic design of the cannon is we have a sliding platform, the trolley that slides on it, that's pulled by a rope, that's tensioned by the spring. So pretty straightforward. Shouldn't be much problem. We thought it would be a simple project, but it turned out to be way harder than we ever imagined. We started with the first prototype built from wooden planks, used rope and some old springs. Little did we know this was just the beginning of our four months long journey that took us through six unforgiving stages. Today is prototype day. Shola and I built this amazing contraption. We're just testing, we're seeing like what things can go wrong. Because uh, you know, things that can go wrong will go wrong. Oh. But come on, look at our happy faces. How could anything possibly go wrong? Uh, so we are making final adjustment before the real first test outside. Hopefully it will go all good. I, I would be happy if we go 30 meters. That's 100 foot. This is our test site. Uh, it's not ideal, but nothing is. With everything going according to plan so far, we put up the cannon, installed the support, it was brief. And gathered some weight. We're just collecting some gold up here. We're trying to get at least 20 kilos of gold. If not that, 20 kilos of rocks. And just toss it up with our man cannon. After I brought the weight back yeah. alone, yeah. confirmed it was indeed heavy enough, and put it in its place. There's nothing left but to tighten this thing, load the springs, and then quick release it. To the unknown. Three, two, one. <laughs> the whole system had way too much friction in it. Officially 8.6 meters. Which we critically needed to reduce. We were going for three times as much. Uh, we need to get back to the drawing board and need to figure out how to make this thing go faster, further, and higher. Not too happy. Not too happy. Okay, here we are back at the same location. We've upgraded the amount of springs in the system. We upgraded the mass that we're gonna launch and we're expecting something to go super wrong. This build is turning out to be a lot more complicated than we expected. We thought it was gonna be one test and then we were gonna go for a shoot and maybe we're gonna have to do some more calculating research and build. I'm creating a test bunny. Our muddy the body is approximately 80 pounds. We definitely have at least a ton in the springs. This is weirdly sketchy. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> oh wow, we lost a lot. Due to carelessness, we didn't fixate the weight well enough, resulting in it flying off, leaving a super light ejection seat to take up the force that was meant for 80 kilos. Result? You saw it for yourself. Oh, and why are we all happy and laughing? We're not. We're simply doing our best to cope with the first out of many blows ahead of us. Some of us have been um, sleeping during engineering classes, but that doesn't matter because uh, we are stubborn and we're going to continue and, until it's, this thing is going to work. It's a process and it's a little bit of progress, two steps forward, one step back. Little did I know there's plenty more steps back to take. Okay, we got it. I'm building the third version of our cannon and this one is way more heavy duty, check this out. We decided to go full scale we're working with steel no more wood this cannon is gonna be 18 feet long it's gonna weigh about 700 pounds and we have space for 52 sets of six spring i have to finish this by tonight and i'm feeling the time pressure a lot because we're testing it tomorrow so go away i need to be
Next day, we first had to position the cannon, lift it up and fix it in its place. <laughs> this bitch has room for more than 300 springs, which is more than our Mega Tramp, and you've seen where that takes you. So you heard Max, and now look at this support. This is definitely good solution. professional work. You see, we like it risky. I was in such a rush to perfect the cannon that I didn't really think about the supports. But six bricks should be able to hold a cannon that packs two tons of force, right? We're doing good. We're about 30 minutes from the first test. I think it's going to travel about 15 meters. <laughs> Let's see, that's my prediction. It's nine meters, 30 feet. Max set 15 meters. That should be good. So this tire is the same weight as me because it's filled with concrete. And, and if it would be filled with steel, it would be the same weight as me. <laughs> and it's not nearly close to my weight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're done prepping, we're ready to launch. Four, three, two, one. Okay, let's inspect the damage. As expected, when rushing, your work becomes sloppy and you make obvious mistakes. Luckily, the damage on our cannon wasn't too bad. No damage! But the fail started to take a toll on our morale. We were running out of time and we had to hurry up, so we decided not to weep and cry, but rather to hurry up, fix the supports and do another test that was going to be a proper one. It had to be. We filled our cannon with all the springs we had we lifted it up so we have a proper angle. Now we have to tension it all the way and launch our dummy. I will say 15 meters. And I'm gonna say we're gonna launch it 17 meters far. Not only our predictions, but hopes went up as well. We really felt it. This Three, was the one. Two, one, the run of our Whoa! Freaking 24. 24! Now I'm scared. Wow! <laughs> but the victory didn't come without a cost. Oh. Okay. Yeah, we wrecked something though. It's looking a little grim from here. As per usual, we were using old equipment, which resulted in one of our brake ropes snapping. That meant that there was nothing stopping the trolley, causing it to hit the end of the cannon with full speed. As a result, the trolley broke and even lost one of the wheels. The cannon works, it actually works too good. Um, we destroyed it. Even though we managed to launch our tire, destroying the cannon was a big setback and we were already behind. It still was a victory, I guess, but it was a bitter one. The next test was supposed to be with a human, but we weren't quite there yet. 10 working hours later, we are back in the same location. We have a couple of upgrades. We have massively improved wooden base, much better pulling system. The trolley is now repaired. It has brand new wheels and we have the support system of spider legs you see behind me. As you can see, summer was nearly here. We had a rough couple of months filled with unsuccessful tests. And finally, we ran out of time. Throughout the development, we were simultaneously working on multiple projects. And this one was taking up a big part of our time. If this test goes according to plan, we can finally move to human test. But if it doesn't, well, it's gonna be the first project we're giving up on. There's a first time for everything, right? Three, two, one. <laughs> well. Yeah, we finally made it. The trolley didn't break, the cannon didn't fall, and we actually got a decent distance. We ensured that we can indeed achieve consistency with launching our tire. In the process, we nearly buried Mirji's drone, but luckily it was only a near miss. This time, we were ready to go to a human tank. Yeah, I feel like we could start with this setup for first jumps. Final test day, we're on this beautiful lake today and we're testing the human cannon with an actual human projectile. Wish us luck. With our spirits high, we got right into the build. Even though summer was right around the corner, the temperatures were rather fresh. This morning it was minus something degrees. 
and this water is extra cold because there's not been much sun yet this spring so this is why the wetsuit next we did some more building rigging and i was lucky enough to be the one securing the anchor point <laughs> What are you talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> one, one moment. Okay, I'm used to the water temperature now. <laughs> With the cannon built, we had to lift it up, which, due to lack of space, proof is a bit of a challenge. While you watch us solve the problem, we'd like to congratulate King Yermilk for winning last video's giveaway. Hit us up in a DM. Due to such great response, we'll repeat the giveaway and this time we'd like to hear more of your ideas, what kind of new launching device you would like us to make. All right, so it says it's 26 degrees. So I don't think we need wetsuits, it's pretty warm. We loaded it up with springs and nearly finished the build. We soon started noticing potential problems. You need to clear a big gap and right now we don't have a solution to get it closer and to have a smaller gap. It's about 10 feet of gap. The problem is if the cannon launches you just enough to fall over the edge of the cannon, it's a big drop. It's like that's on 5-6 meters, that's like 18-20 feet. We're still in a super sketchy position. The thing is not fixed and if it falls, we're gonna break the pier ourselves and the cannon. We fixed the cannon legs the best we could and then the big boss showed up. What's up, fuckers? <laughs> what you got here? Tori, you look so fucking tall. <laughs> we could feel the tension building up. We were trying to cover our nervousness with some shenanigans, but we felt it in the air, that it's coming. It's really hard to try uh, new things. It's a scary thing to do. Being a pioneer is a tough job. Trying to ignore the thoughts of what can go wrong. The cannon has a big surprise factor. We are putting a lot of effort in our projects, so guys, subscribe. I'm super excited to see an actual person fly out of this cannon because we've been working on this machine for four months. That's right, we've worked our asses off on this contraption for four months and it took us on a roller coaster of successes and disasters, well mostly disasters, steep learning curves and testing our will throughout the process. When shit hit the fan we somehow found the strength to persist because we learned that oftentimes when you're about to ditch the whole thing success might just be around the corner. Without rock bottoms, there are no peaks and we want to thank each and every one of you for being by our side. And here we are, about to test the cannon that we've worked on so hard for the very first time. I'm speechless. <laughs> It happened so fast. Zero to 100 real fucking quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 